Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ridge Life Ramblings, it is cold, it is wet, it is nasty. Guys, it snowed like crazy just west of here over in Arkansas. You know, we're right in the West Tennessee uh, Arkansas line, Mississippi River separates us, and guys, it snowed like crazy over there, but we got tons and tons of rain, and it is cold, and uh, so what better thing to do is take you on a walk for our ramblings today. Uh, we're not going to sit inside the camper and stay warm and toasty and, and talk. We're going to get out and freeze our butts off, but show you what we got going on. So let's go on, walk on out, um, uh, walk on out to the uh, area where we're going to build the barn. Okay, we're going to clear this land and uh, you probably saw that on yesterday's video. You're watching this today, Friday. And uh, we, on Ridge Life, started clearing the land for the uh, barn. Now we've got to get that barn built so we can get uh, all of our uh, implements and all of our gear stored in there so it's not in Grandma Carol's garage. And uh, then that's when I can start on, uh, once I get the barn built, start working on the uh, off-grid cabin. You know, that's. It seems like it's um, gonna be forever. <sighs> you know, it's a long process, right? I'm doing this by myself. Um, talking about clearing land with a tractor and a chainsaw and building a barn with these two hands. Never built a barn before in my life. Never done metal roofing. Um, never really built up a road i box bladed roads before you know but gotta build up a road clear more trees out there and then start building a beautiful finished off-grid wooden barn barn dominium and uh, then of course go solar with it with propane generator and uh, solar array um so i can do it guys i can do it um it's just gonna take me a while um please have patience okay please you, I know you're, wanna, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna say when, Tim, when? And you can say when. I just might not have a when, you know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll, 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 I will do my best. Um, I gotta get rid of that we uh, out of my vocabulary, but really it is we, because I'm taking you along, right? And uh, I got family, Grandma Carol's gonna help, and Morgan, and anyone else that wants to come down. Ooh, look at the deer tracks, guys. Right here, still tons of deer tracks crossing oh there's more look at that look at that <laughs> all the way across here and now we're, we're walking um from the uh cabin area the log cabin area to where i have the camp from where i had the camper down the s curve here to right where we're clearing uh the land for the barn and uh i just love this guys it's cold out here there's no leaves on the trees I still love it. I still love it. You know, I love living here in West Tennessee. I love, I love this property. Um, Y'all remember we built this S curve, cleared all this land. This was all of this where the log cabin is, this S curve, this road looked just like that stuff we're clearing over there. We cleared all of it. Um, now for the log home, I did have an excavator come out here and bulldozer or do part of it. I did some of it with a tractor. I got videos way back on my log home build playlist of me using the tractor uh, to clear a lot of this. I mean, this area right here, I've got a video of me. This was all, all of this was built, was, was, was brush and uh, clear cut overgrowth. And I was driving through and it was green and I'm pushing all over the tractor. I'm breaking the tractor and, you know, doing, a, you know, Mike from three Mississippi breaking everything, you know, but at least my tractor's got horsepower and, and, and steel and, you know, and, and it is a real tractor. And uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mike, man. Um, but yeah, yeah. The, so a lot of what you see here on the property was done by me. And uh, I plan on doing a lot, lot more here. So uh, did put in all this uh, riprap in these culverts and let's see how it's doing. Um, this was bad guys. We, you know, we, we put this culvert in here, built this road and it would block up with all kinds of debris and stuff. But look at it now, guys, you can see there's the woods is pretty rough right here in this uh, little uh, creek area here, but look at the water, look at the water running. And the beautiful doing its job got one little stick in here get that pulled out of there but oh 
Love it, love it, love it. Let's go on the other side and see what that looks like. Uh, see how this is flowing over here. Absolutely. Oh, got some, I got some leaves I got clear out of there. I don't want that. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that, guys. Let me take my glove off for this. Let's get that cleared out. Ah, oh, boy. Get that rock off there. Put that back up there. Get some flow going here. Ah. Oh, my hand's like super, super cold now. There we go. Yeah, I probably need to. Oh. All right, look at the flow. It's flowing. Ah, oh, man. All right, guys. Did I uh, get any on the, the lens there? I didn't. All right, let me get my glove on. That's one thing about doing these ramblings. This is unedited, you know, unscripted, unedited. And uh, freeze my hand off. Again, there's nothing on the lens there. That's good. Whoo, man. Hopefully I, I got the uh, stabilization on high enough for you. You're not jumping around there. I do apologize. But coming out through the S-curve here, this is my hunting field. Or at least it was my hunting field. I'll have a video out uh, next week, uh, a recap of the 2022 hunting season here on the Ridge. I hope you hope everyone is looking forward to that. Um, put some highlights uh into one i may do a premiere on it it may be fun enough to do a premiere so but since i'm putting a barn right here i don't think i'm gonna be doing much hunting right here am i uh, i may still get to hunt out of this field a little bit so another hunting field is in the plans you know that's it's not primary um but when i clear land for the off-grid cabin it will act as a hunting field until i build the cabin right so this has been a very, very productive hunting field. But in the future, it's going to be hare sheep, donkey, highland cattle, and then horses in the front. Horses in the front. You know, what's, what's that song? <laughs> I got the horses in the back. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm stupid. I know it. But look what we've done here, guys. You watched this video yesterday on Ridge Life. We have cleared out tons of these big trees now you see i ain't been back in here because the weather and work and everything i i still work a full-time job guys but um the the plan was to get in and get all the big trees down that i marked with the orange paint and then come in with the ratchet rake on the on the loader of the tractor and push it all the small stuff down all this small stuff right but what i think i'm gonna do you're getting this first on ramblings you, you, you no one else is gonna know this but you guys that watch ramblings i'm gonna come in here with the um, stump bucket grapple, the T-Rex the claw, and I'm gonna dig up these. I'm gonna dig up all the ones I cut here in the front. You can see I cut, I cut tons of them right there, tons of them back in there, and I'm also gonna use it to clear a lot of this brush over here that was when we cleared this field. Because this, this field looked like, this field behind me looked just like that when we bought this property. So me, my tractor, a uh, forestry mulcher, and an excavator cleared all this out. And we built this pile of stumps and stuff there, which I gotta clear out. And we also piled all this up right here. So I'm gonna, there's some trees in there. I'm gonna get in over that uh, stump bucket grapple, grab a lot of this, pull this out so I can get in there. You can still see I got some big trees right there to knock down, but we did a dent here. It doesn't look like it now, but once I get that uh, grapple in here and uh, start getting these big stumps out, and then as I just go in here and start pushing all this, you know, when I push all this down, because all of this, you know, you see, you see the orange on these trees right here. That's the, that's what's got to come down with the stump bucket grapple. But all this, I can just push over that tractor. That real, it's a blue tractor. Tractors are blue. If you got a red, you know, you got a, you got a, a lawn, uh, you got a lawn tractor. Okay, okay, you got a lawn tractor. It, it's, a, it's a glorified utility tractor. Now, if you got an orange tractor, I mean, you got a lawnmower, okay? Lawn tractor, lawnmower, and then I got Old Blue, which is a New Holland 55 horsepower utility tractor. <sighs> but that's enough about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go clear all of this out right here. And uh, this is where the barn's going to be. Um, you can see there was this one. Let me get back in here. Look at this tree, guys. That tree. 
that was a big old tree we gotta get that out of there and look at all this this was all stuff that was out there in that field we gotta get the grapple get all this pulled out and then i can start pushing my way in push my way in which should be awesome um, very good entertaining video to watch there i think that's at least that's what i think I, i'm hoping you like it <laughs> let me uh, come through here oh my goodness it's cold let's see here oh man all right it is wet and mushy look at the look at the field here guys oh yeah i'm just a kid playing in the water i'm just a kid playing in the water <laughs> i'm a big kid all right man i'm a big kid playing in the water ah oh, so fun all right so got to get this pile right here uh, again it looks like it's a lot of dirt and brush um and it is dirt but it's a lot of it's stumps big big tree stumps and stuff so i might have to use the the big bucket on that but coming out in the middle of the field here this is where i piled up all those trees i still gotta get out here and limb them and uh when I, whenever i get all this pulled out make a big pile burn all that cut up these big trees firewood for the fire pit oh gosh i can't wait to get a fire pit i love a fire pit i i could sit around a fire pit i can sit around a fire pit every day uh, i don't care i don't care in the summertime if it's 105 degrees outside you give me an ice cold one and a fire pit i'm gonna be by it now <sighs> i like to be in the river fishing too but um walking across this field here um on that hunting video recap what i gotta do is get out here and get all my uh cushions and stuff out of my deer deer stands here tree stands um i don't know if you can see this guys but look look right here look at that look at that deer trail y'all see that deer trail yeah i know the water is running through here but huge deer trail oh yeah we got a trail camera right there too so um but this field this is the low part of the field you can see it curves the road to the off-grid cabin is going to go right through there and right here is where i'm going to dig a pond and it may work out where i dig the pond sooner than later and use the dirt from the pond to build the road up because right now the road the, the woods road that i made with the tractor because i've been driving through it so much it's it's war low and now the water runs down it and it's low and then you want your driveway to be high and i don't want to bring, bring in a, a million dollars worth of gravel and dirt so i may dig the pond myself but that's a lot i i, I don't want to delay the cabin any more than i have to so i may end up getting dirt brought in you know that's the thing leave a comment down below tim you should dig, dig the pond and use the dirt for that or tim don't waste your time build the pond later when you can uh, bring dirt in it's cheap the, the, you know do that so tell me what you think i really want to know all right coming across this field here you see i got a tree stand i love this tree stand oh my goodness i've taken so many deer out of this tree stand but my favorite tree stand really is the one up in the woods back there by the stump where all the deer eat off of um Again, if you watch next week's uh, 2022 hunting recap, you'll get to watch that. Let me walk on up uh, here. Let's see how we doing on time, guys. I don't want to keep you here too long, but uh, I do love these ramblings. This is the, what, episode three? And uh, I'm having a blast with it, guys, and hopefully you're, you're enjoying them too. Um, walk around, sit in the camper, um, buy a fire pit soon. Um, man, this is right. The, the, the food plot actually did pretty well this, this winter. It's been nibbled down like crazy, but you can see all the green in it. And uh, the, the deer came out to it. They ate like crazy out of it. Um, and I love these cedars over here on the other side of this field. And unfortunately, this one right here, this one right here came down in the last ice storm we had and it i gotta and i tried to push it back up because it's still alive it's still alive but i i can't 
I tried to see, see I messed it up when I tried to push it up with the tractor I'm just gonna I'm gonna cut it down it'll fill in you know there's still tons of cedars here more will grow up it's it's real close to the other one I just hate losing a tree like this beautiful green cedars um, we have tons of them though but um and you can see log home is right there see the roof of the log home so this field was really way too close once we for hunting once we built the log home and i've known that i still hunted out of it because you, you do what you got to do um but uh, uh new field will come eventually for hunting goodness gracious it's so squishy out here you're hearing squish squish all right here's a tree stand this is the one Morgan, my son, got his deer out of recently, overlooking this this field. Um, ooh, look at all the y'all see the all the uh, tur the vultures. I don't think can y'all see those. Oh my gosh! Let's see. There's one right up there. But okay, there you go, guys. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 15 15 vultures 15 vultures in the sky i don't know i didn't i didn't shoot anything i didn't kill anything but look at that guys look at that right over me i want to I'm gonna zoom in on maybe these are unedited videos so i don't know if i'll do that but <laughs> i may put it on the editor that's a lot that's a lot of turkey vultures there all right let's walk down here to the bottoms you know the meteor valley is down here guys if you don't know what meteor valley is go but go look when i give the walk around tour where we're going to build everything meteor valley is so so amazing now here's the the little creek we got and it runs see oh goodness gracious <laughs> i fell in um this creek runs down that way to the s curve culvert check out this tree isn't that cool but uh, uh i fell in the hole there he we're close sorry i hope i'm not uh, getting too close to my face with the, this uh, zoom on this uh, camera here but uh oh man okay coming on up to our stopping point and here we go let's see the water rolling down it's not as pretty pretty as the slr's waterfall of course i don't have near the mountains and the hills and the the spring fed uh water that they got but uh Again, I love it. I love it just the same. Love it just the same. Check out this, these two trees right here. These leaning trees. Leaning trees of Pisa. Uh, oh, wow. Check this out. Check out this tree right here. Look at that. The spiral tree. It's like one of those Christmas candies. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, guys, this is... What I call the valley. It is a um, connection of one, two, and three valleys. The log home is right there. And bobcat come through here, and deer and coyote. They crawl up. They walk up this hill right here. They walk up this hill right here. They go out to the hunting field. And that's what we got here on the ridge. Is tons of wildlife. Uh, the January trail cam video. I'll be uh, pulling trail cam cards very soon. That'll be on Ridge Life. Um, again, getting back out on the tractor. Right now, it's just so wet. I would just get bogged down, and uh, you know, even with all that horsepower and four-wheel drive, I would just make more of a mess of it. Then, uh, so I need to, I need to dry up a little bit so I can get out there and finish clearing, clearing those uh, trees so I can start the barn build. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited, guys. So I hope you enjoyed today's walkabout on Ridge Life Ramblings, and I promise more fun to come here on this, this journey I'm on. Uh, again, I'm Tim. This is Ridge Life Ramblings. I got Ridge Life, the main channel where we're doing the building. Uh, Ridge Life Lessons is my faith-based channel. And then Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos where we do uh, 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 educational, how instructional, and product review videos. So you'll see me use those products and show you uh, me doing those things, and I'll tell you exactly how it's done. Ridge Lifestyle on that channel. So, guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.